I'm Donna Igueta, and I am the author of The Last Quintista. So this book found its beginnings off a simple writing prompt, which was to take a traditional fairy tale and make it sci-fi. And I initially decided to choose at random a story that didn't get a lot of airplay compared to maybe Snow White or Cinderella. So I chose Princess and the Pea. And the Pea became its own character as the PEA, or the Pellet of Extended Animation, which puts humans to sleep for hundreds of years for a journey across the universe. And that was about as far as I got in my short story. And I decided I loved the concept of it. And this character, Petra Pena, came to my mind, who was a girl who would be leaving Earth and who was like myself, was Mexican-American and white. And I asked myself for Petra, what the questions I think a lot of us would ask ourselves, which is if we were leaving earth for the last time, what are the things that we cherish the most? What would we take with us? What did we love the most? What would we miss the most? And this is what I had Petra's journey start out with. And for Petra, she wants to be a storyteller like her grandmother. And much like my own grandmother, who Petra's grandmother Lita makes things very colorful on a day-to-day -day basis and Petra is, is so sad that she's leaving that behind but also wondering how she can take that with her and maybe she can be a storyteller like her grandmother but what would happen if when you arrived to this new time and place and planet and you are, you woke up and no one remembered Earth. What if you were the only one? And this is Petra's story where she has to use her storytelling and the things that she's bringing with her from Earth um, to remind people of what it means to be human, um, love and humor and empathy. And Petra uses the stories from her grandmother to try and remind people of who they are and what they've left behind. Um, so it was a wonderful opportunity to write this story that kind of represented myself, but took it into a future that's very different, hopefully, <laughs> than our own. Um, and it was a different story than Lupe Wong Won't Dance, which I wrote this year and it came out. And I, I wanna thank booksellers and librarians for putting Lupe into readers' hands. She had a wonderful year, thanks to you. And it will get even better. Um, Lupe Wong Won't Dance comes out in Spanish. Lupe Wong No Baila in October. And I'm thrilled for that. And The Last Quintista as well, which we're bringing these bicultural characters and also Spanish language into all of these books. And then with Lupe Wong No Baila, a book in Spanish that you could read consecutively, which I didn't have as a child. I'm so excited for this. Um, but I want to thank you for that. And I want to thank Levin Guerrero and Chronicle Books for just making this such a wonderful process and also helping to put these books in readers' hands. Thank you.